I felt like I was a failure. You know, I had my story that like my mom didn't teach me about money, who and she had her story that her parents didn't teach her about money. And I'm like, I didn't know how to save and my credit is shit. And you know, all of these things. And it's like all the whole thing it added up to added up to was I was a failure. I was a failure at money. I was a bad person because I couldn't manage my money or my finances. And no matter how much money I made, and it started getting bad when I was making 20 or $25,000 a month and ending up at the end of the month at zero, it was even worse because at that point I was like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Like, what is wrong with me? Why can I not crack this code? Then feeling this tremendous amount of pressure to perform and to be good at money and to shift my reality because I also had this place in me that like knew that I could do it. I knew that I could do it. I knew that I could do whatever I put my mind to. I knew I was a fucking master manifester. I've always been a master manifester my whole entire life. So I could manifest and I could make money, but I just, you know, like I was in that wave. I was in that emotional wave, right? And then I became addicted to, and this is probably gonna resonate with a lot of you too, I became addicted to the adrenaline that came from having to pull a fucking rabbit out of a hat at the end of every month. So that I became addicted to the emotional wave. I became addicted to the highs and the lows. And I, and because I was good at manifesting and because I could always pull my way out of it, I got addicted to that adrenaline that would always come when I pulled myself out and hit one of the highs again. And that was something that was really, really hard for me to crack. But even that made me feel bad about myself because it was, then it was just like, what is wrong with me? Why am I addicted to this pattern? Why am I addicted to this pattern of self-sabotage and scarcity and lack? Like what is wrong with me? So if this is resonating with any of you, what I will say is there's nothing wrong with you. You literally are existing inside the reality that the global elite desire you to exist inside. Because as long as you're feeling bad about yourself and as long as you're feeling like shit and as long as you're hiding that from everyone, and that's what we do, right? It's like we pretend like everything's okay and we don't want anyone to see what's really going on. We don't want anyone to see what we're really feeling inside because we're worried that like if they see that part of us, they're gonna be like, they're gonna see the ugliness, right? And then they're gonna abandon us. And then we're gonna be even less worthy because we're gonna have lost all of our friends. People are gonna see the real us. That we're gonna be exposed for our deep, dirty money secrets. And it's, it's the fucking program. That's how it's designed. It's designed to keep you feeling this way. It's designed to keep you trapped. It's designed to keep you making excuses about why you can't get out about why you can't shift out of the program, about why you're not worthy, about why you're not deserving. And it will make you hold on to your justifications and excuses because those are the things that keep you inside the program. I couldn't possibly give up cable for a year. What would my kids do? My kids would be so upset. My husband would be so upset he couldn't watch football or he couldn't watch baseball. And you know, there's no possible way I could do that, right? There's no possible way I could give up my $5 Starbucks that I'm drinking every day that adds up to $150 a month, right? Like when there's a will, there's a way. And when you finally decide that you are tired of living in your current reality and you are tired of being controlled by this program, you will take a step and you will shift everything. And hopefully you will join me in Ouroboros and you will create radical transformation for yourself when it comes to your wealth paradigm.